Hello, friends. Uh, this is Fer Galicia. Uh, sorry for the creepy voice. It's a little late. Everybody's sleeping on this side of the world. Uh, I just uh, wanted to make a quick tutorial for uh, what I have learned about OpenTunes. This new software just uh, released um, like yesterday, I think. I think I. Uh, I give a quick look and, and I know a lot of people have no idea when it starts it doesn't look very friendly at all so let me see if I can help you a little bit so when we start you only see this we have this hand tool selector we have this drawing area right here and uh, so what do we do next okay so let me help you a little bit first we're gonna press the right click let's do this the toolbar okay we have some tools right here we're gonna start with the there you go you can also see more options right over here okay let's go again then we see toolbar options sorry if I'm going too fast try to uh, touch this again we just have pressure okay no pressure Then here we have accuracy. This is gonna be this uh, after you finish. It's gonna do this thing where it fix your lines, or if you want it just the way you did it. Oops. Do something like this. Okay. Okay. For some reason it's doing nothing. Let me try. Okay, I think it's the, the recording device. I'm recording this on PC, so it's more shaky. Okay, leave it right on the middle right here. Mm -hmm. Base. Okay, let's go to. Uh, let's um, show um, the console. The console is what is going to show the playback options like this very, very simple thing that I'm showing right now you can decrease the photographs as shown right here in this area there you go decrease increase you want like 60 photograms or you want like five or eight photograms per second all right are we there yet so we have two lines when people say that nothing happens it happens we check it real quick now right here on this side, on the right top, you can see different tools. And if you press, you're gonna see something different happen on the screen. Okay. You're gonna get different tools, different options. You can paint, fix, huh? Back kicks. What else? Okay. Let's focus on this one. I think this one here is for it's for start your animation where you can start working on it. And right here you can see that it's showing in the column number one. You can deactivate it, don't watch it, watch it, lock it, or unlock it. Yes, I have no idea a lot of scribbles. I don't know how to delete yet, so I'm just gonna delete the whole thing. Alright. Now this is very uncomfortable for me, especially because let's let's make a quick test also you need to uh, do again the thing where you show your tools here okay there you go you have the same things that you saw before okay let's do the console all right and now we also have the option for activate onion skin what is onion skin well it's when do you get to see like ghost of your last frame. Let's make an example here. Here's our frame number one. Okay, this is also something I want to do. The frames traditionally and most uh, animation software go from left to right. But what I learned here that it goes from the top to the bottom. So let's move this out of here. I'm gonna put it right here for right now. It's too big. We're just gonna use one column so far. Okay. 
So let's go and do. I'm gonna do something very simple because the my computer is not very strong. So for recording and, and doing something, so I'm just gonna do some scribbles. Let's say that we drew um, well a ball. That's not a ball. So let's try that. I'm gonna deactivate the pressure. So maybe. Let's go here, frame one, color one. So then, when you make a drawing, it will immediately create a new color, okay? A new image. I don't know how to call it, zoom or something. So then we go to the frame number two by clicking here. As you can see, the original um, drawing that you did, it got a little bit lighter. So that's what it is, the, the on the skin thing. Frame number three. Yes. Number four. Okay. So then if we go to the options here, customize. Let's see what it is here. How this uh, interface. Okay. Everything's fine, so we're still not gonna mess with that. So extension, okay. Let's go just to on the skin. And let's change the thickness of this guy to 20. And let's move the colors here. First thing on the other one. So make it something more frame, for example. I th I'm usually using blue. can play with this later in your own time but it's just a very fast tutorial you see that the ghosting is a little bit behind it so it's easier to distinguish from here you can go like that all you want or you can see let's jump to frame number 18 okay there's no new skin because everything is too far Let's do this. Okay. Let's go to frame number twelve. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is a pain in the butt. I really need to get a new computer. You say here we see another ghost from the past we drew before. It's gonna be pretty random. So so far we have used 18 frames. Now let's play and see what happens. Let's put it as a loop. Okay. Kinda works. Let's see how do I stop this man? On the skin. Too random, right? You don't know what's going on. Okay, let's see. This is something very helpful too. Here on the on this corner, we have the safe area, which means always gonna be render I don't not sure if this part or this part but that's what gives you well whatever is important keep it inside this frame and it means here this is some kind of ruler okay so if you start your animation from here with the number eight between number four if you remember in your last uh, frame perhaps back to, to that frame. If I mean if you are thinking of making a loop, I'm probably gonna do that. Make a lot of loops. So so then you you have this measure what you're doing. Okay. You can deactivate if it's too annoying for you. 
I still haven't find a way to, to make it dimmer and make it too dark. So we're gonna chill on that anyway. Um, here, this is the option that we're looking at. This is the option to see the 3D cam. So I'm drawing for you. Here we go. There we go. Let's take a look. Let's see two of the front. This is frozen. Oh wow. Transparent. Here. Oh wow. Now the light is let's go back. Let's keep doing our scene circle first. So then all of a sudden this circle got all crazy. Let's see what's going on here. This decides to change. This is really very, very stupid. You know? I don't think what I'm trying to teach you how to make circles. It's just to, so you know how to use it yourself. So let's do this here. See how this, this uh, crap looks. Okay. So yeah. So then we say we're gonna go back to here. So let's try to do something interesting for you. Well, not Let's activate the other on the screen and let's just save it. But let's reduce the movement to five photographs per second. Completely nonsense. Alright. Well friends, I hope this helped you to start and then you can create the next uh, Lion King, Frozen, or whatever you have in your mind. I uh, have no idea what you're going to do, but I wish you the best. And hopefully next time I can use a different voice, a little less, uh, like an old man. And show Kanye next time. See you later, friends. This was Frederick Olivia. Adios. And bye-bye.